Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of Reesey News. We're going to touch a couple things today, not too many, but our main thing today is that there's two new additions that are apparently going to be for the Switch. So make sure to stay right here, get some popcorn, get comfy, and get ready for some Nintendo news, and maybe a little bit more. Okay guys, so apparently Nintendo is planning on releasing two versions of the Switch later this year, with one of them apparently being a better version of the Switch, probably like a 4K version, and like probably undocked 1080p, and probably with similar specs to the competition such as the Xbox One X, probably not as good, but comparable. It could probably run on um, current gen games and maybe some next gen games. So, and who knows, it might be even better. Nintendo might have something under their sleeve that they're not really sane about. It might not even be underpowered at all, which it probably isn't if it's gonna run current gen and um, upcoming games. And that's pretty good. I'm not sure how they will market games that won't run on the normal Switch, but will run on this Switch. I'm not really sure, but whatever, we'll see. And then another Switch that they're gonna come out with is a, preferably maybe a um, Switch Mini or a Switch Lite, something like that, kind of like to replace the 3DS or the um, new 2DS XL or any of those systems over on the um, 3DS side of things since they're trying to get people to buy the Switch and they're phasing away from the 3DS and I'm not sure if it might be dockless, it might be a dockless Switch, it might be completely handheld, it might be like, who knows, it, it might just be like a um, smaller Switch that uses regular Joy-Cons and you could still place it in the dock or something like that. But it, it's a good idea that they're coming out with two new versions of the Switch, though they only make different versions of consoles for, like, handhelds usually. Well, with the exception of, like, the Wii that had the Wii Mini, but that doesn't really count since the Wii Mini came out at the end of its lifespan. But the Switch is a hybrid, and it kind of makes sense to release different versions of their console, especially if they're trying to boost more sales and they're trying to um stay ahead with competition because it would be nice to have a console that basically does everything and is as powerful as the competition okay so next we have shantae 5 coming to the switch and also ps4 xbox one pc and apple arcade made by way forward obviously but this game looks pretty cool we didn't like we only have one image but by the looks of it hopefully it's going to be a good game because i like the shantae series it's pretty cool and that's awesome that we're getting a new game and yeah so let's get on to the next thing so our last little bit of news here is not Nintendo related, actually not even video game related at all. I just wanted to touch on this. They are making a Dora movie, Dora and the Lost City of Gold, made by Paramount and Nickelodeon movies. So it it's kind of weird that they're making like kind of an action adventure Dora movie. I mean, when you think of Dora, you think of the little kids show where they always like ask you questions on the show like do you know where this is? And stuff like that. I remember watching the show as a little kid. And a lot of you, probably between the ages of um, 10 and 20, maybe probably watched the show as a kid. Maybe even older than 20, probably 25, because the show came out almost 20 years ago. But it's kind of like a nostalgic throwback and... And that's pretty cool that they're making the movie, but it looks pretty cringy. It looks pretty meme worthy, and yeah, I'm gonna see the movie anyway. But the you can go see the trailer for yourself. It's 
it, it's as meme worthy as others like Aladdin, Detective Pikachu. Though that that will probably be a good movie or Sonic that didn't have a trailer, but whatever. And then um, Doom Annihilation is getting a movie. So um, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of meme worthy movies this year. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And thank you for helping me get to 3,000 subscribers if you're already subscribed to me. So, thank you guys for watching and goodbye.